On October 14th, an annular solar eclipse is set to make its way across the U.S. And people out west will have the best view. The path in terms of totality kind of takes a swipe through the southwestern United States. So it starts in Oregon, it's going to move down through Nevada, into a part of Arizona, then through New Mexico, and down through Texas. Everybody in the continental United States is going to get a chance to see this eclipse. The path of the partial eclipse is broad enough that it covers the 48 contiguous states. But only a handful of cities will see the ring of fire at its peak. And eclipse hunter extraordinaire Michael Zeiler has a list of the best places to view this solar sensation. The first place I would pick is uh, Sillitz Bay in Oregon. What's interesting about that place is it's right on the northern edge of the path of annular eclipse right on the coastline. Second place I would mention is uh, Crater Lake National Park. Uh, national parks are a great place to see uh, any kind of eclipse. Being in a scenic environment I think enhances the eclipse experiences. Next one is Canyonlands National Park. What's interesting about Canyonlands is while most of the national park is just outside the path of annular eclipse. The southern bit of the road is just inside the path and will experience the same edge effects I talked about for Silitz Bay. The exit of the annular eclipse in the United States at Corpus Christi and Padre Island. So those will be great places to send off the eclipse. If you aren't making a road trip this time, don't fear. This type of eclipse happens every few years at different points around the world.